Hi everyone, this is Cindy here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about UK VAT. Since January 1st, 2021, new rules has affect dropshipping if you are planning to dropship products directly to UK customers. Some dropshipper has already taken actions in response to it. Some dropshipper may not even know about it. Some dropshipper try to avoid it. No matter what situation you are at, I got you covered. Ooh. Before we start, I would like to introduce a little bit more about my channel. My channel is mainly focused on how to run an online business. It covers some tips and some necessary skills that you need. However, I would say it's more like an e-com journey with me. If that is something that interests you, welcome to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about what is UK VAT, how does it affect non-UK dropshipper like me as a Canadian dropshipper, what action do I need to take in response to these changes? What are the conspiracy theory behind? Before we begin, I would like to let you know that neither am I an accountant nor am I a VAT tax specialist. All the information that covered today is based on my personal experience. If you have any question, I will strongly recommend you to talk to your accountant or your tax specialist. Before wasting any time, let's jump into my PC. How does the tax system works? For example, in United States, you will charge sales tax based on which state does the customer comes from. Sales tax would range from 0% up to about 8%. In Canada, we have GST, HST, range from 5% up to 15%. In fact, VAT is not a new thing. It is a tax that is common in all over the world. So right now, I am on an accountant website from UK. It's called e-commerce accountant. So they are the tax specialists. Let's take a look at how they define this UK VAT. VAT is value added tax. That is a tax that you collect from customer based on the transaction value of the sales. So it is like a sales tax in Canada. We have HST, which is 13%. We add it on top of the goods value. So what happened before January 1st, 2021? VAT is charged at point of custom. So when they when the product enter the UK custom, AliExpress or your supply agent supposed to pay the VAT tax before they enter UK. However, there was a LVCR, low value consignment relief. So which means if the products are under 15 pounds, they are not subject to pay VAT. A lot of dropshipping products, the product value itself is under 15 pounds, so they can go to the custom without paying any taxes. So now the HMRC has find this loophole, they try to close it. So now they say that no matter how much the product is, customer has to pay VAT at point of sales. So which means you as an online business owner, you are responsible to charge UK customer for VAT tax and then you account to HMRC. So now what happened at the custom is that you don't need to pay VAT tax, your product to go through. However, you do need to account for HMRC and you charge your UK customer VAT at points of sales. If, you, if it's an online marketplace like Amazon, eBay, or even AliExpress, they are considered as online marketplace. So they will charge this VAT at checkout. As you see here that I am on AliExpress website and I just randomly fill in a UK address and you see there's a tax here that is a VAT they charge. So what happened now is that if you order a product, if you dropship a product from AliExpress, AliExpress already charge you the um, VAT. You report to HMRC. You will also need to pay a VAT tax and now you pay double of the tax. So now it goes to a rebate. So there's two different types of tax scheme. The VAT tax scheme, one is called standard, one is called flat rate. So the main difference between two, these two is for standard scheme, you pay 20% of the VAT tax. You could reclaim your VAT on all expenses with VAT including import VAT. So which means, let's say if you purchase, if you sell a product for $50, you collect 20%, which is $10 for the VAT. So the customer will pay $60. When you order a product from AliExpress, let's say AliExpress charge a VAT of $4.26. When you account to HMRC, you pay $10 minus this $4.26, which 
come down to five dollars and seventy four cents that you pay to HMRC. So that could be deductible. The flat rate scheme. So which means you pay less. You pay you pay a flat rate of less, uh, seven point five percent VAT to HMRC for the second year, six point five percent on the first year, and you pay a standard rate. However, you cannot reclaim your VAT on cost. So that that means no matter how much you pay for your supplier or your AliExpress, you won't be able to reclaim this VAT if they charge you. And also, in order to qualify for this flat rate scheme. Your annual project avenue has to be less than 150k pounds, and also you must move. If your annual revenue reach 230k pounds, you will have to move up to the standard scheme. This accountant website will teach you step by step how to register a VAT number and how to answer those questions, even if you are a non-UK business. So, got a lot of information. Make sure you check that out. On this website, it has all the information about UK VAT, and also uh, there's a calculator tool to help you determine which uh, either the flat rate scheme or the standard scheme is good for you. And I will include this link on my description below. You may feel free to check it out. So right now, I am on the government website of UK, and they talk about the VAT registration. So what it says is that if your business is outside of UK, there's no threshold. If neither you nor your business is based in the UK, you must register as soon as you supply any goods and services to the UK, or if you expect it to be in the next thirty days. So now, which so now which means that、um, the UK government has made a clear message that. As long as you are drop shipping to UK, you have to register a VAT number and account to HMRC. If I dig a little bit deeper, I found there is a Brexit checker. So basically,、um, this link is the www.gov.uk/transition. It tell you what action you need to take in response to this Brexit. The funny thing is, when I go through all this questionnaire, and it give me an answer. That it says that you do not need to take action now. Based on the information that I have found, the question is: Do I need to register a UK VAT number? Yes. And do I need to account to HMRC? Yes. The reason why this rule has changed is because the UK government has found a loophole and they try to stop it. So, as an honest business owner. We do need to accountable and be responsible of our business. Although there's some conspiracy theory saying that Shopify will reinforce their store to charge UK customer VAT even before the UK government trades down. Although I'm not sure about this, I have full ownership of my online store, so I did register a VAT number, and I am planning to account to HMRC, AliExpress. Has already start charging customer with VAT tax, and other、uh, platform like Vio, they require all customer who ten- intended to sell product to UK require a VAT number, and some other fulfillment agency like Honest Fulfillment, Ecom Ops, they all suggest all their customer to register a VAT. And I personally went through the registration process. It actually is not that difficult. I hope today's video will help you understand a little bit more. Again, if you have any question regarding for this UK VAT, I highly recommend you to talk to your own accountant or your tax specialist. I hope you enjoy the content of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Until I see you next time. Bye now. To register, so do to. To register my business.